Okay, so welcome back and now today we're going to start talking about right triangles and trigonometric functions or um, trig trigonometry, okay, dealing with right triangles. Okay, so before we do that, uh, let's talk about the unit circle. So a unit circle is a circle that's centered at the origin with a radius of 1, okay, and so what we're going to define is how do we use this to kind of get uh, our trigonometric functions <laughs> and we're going to define them okay so if you can see that if we take a radius right of length one on the unit circle and we're going to use the sides of the right triangle that is going to be formed by the um, the radius the ray right uh, to the unit circle so if we form this right triangle, we have the, um, along the x-axis, we have the length x, and then we have the height of the, uh, of the triangle uh, is measured in y, okay? And so this is the situation where we're going to derive all of the trigonometric functions that we're going to be using, okay? And so you can see that in either the quadrants so if we look at the different quadrants, right, so let's just extend this out, right, okay, we can show that depending on the angle, Obviously, our triangle, we can form a triangle anywhere in any of the th four quadrants. Um, and again, depending on where the uh, angle, depending on the angle, depending on where the terminal side um, ends, will also f create, uh, determine the triangle, where the triangle is located. Okay? And then, of course, we could use the reference angle to... <coughs> find the, um, uh, the reference angle of the triangle to help us. Okay, so again, this is what we're going to be using, this idea. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the right triangle to help us set up these definitions for the trigonometric functions. Okay, so the hypotenuse is the side that's across from the right triangle, the, or the, the right angle, the 90 degree angle. And then what we're going to call is we have theta, the angle theta, the adjacent side is the side that's next to the angle. The opposite side, this side here, is called the opposite side. It's opposite the angle. Okay? And so to define cosine of the, or sine of the angle, it's opposite over the hypotenuse. So it's the measurement of the opposite side over the measurement of the hypotenuse. And then cosine theta is the measurement of the adjacent side divided by the measurement of the hypotenuse. And then tangent theta is uh, defined as the opposite leg, the measurement of the opposite leg uh, divided by the measurement of the adjacent. Okay? So now a common um, phrase or common quote-unquote word is that helps us remember this is Sokotoa. Okay, sine over sine opposite over hypotenuse, so ka is K-A-H, right? So so ka toa, T-O-A. So if you put those together, you get so ka toa. And that's a common uh, mnemonic that students will use. I I've never used it, I just memorized it. Um, so, but again, use it if you want. <clears throat> now, what is this translate? So now, here's the thing. So we're going to use this uh, triangle here, the unit circle, to help us decide how this is going to work. So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine theta is going to be y over 1. Okay. <clears throat>
Now, what about cosine? Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's going to be x over 1. And then what about uh, tangent? Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be y over x. Now, now this is really all we need to know at this point to help us do some examples. And then we're going to build on to this because, again, this will extend to um, other... Oh, by the way, the, the ratios are always going to be the same regardless of the, um, the circle. So this is just a unit circle because it simplifies things, as you'll see. But the general case, we would just use r as the radius, okay? And so, again, these are what the results would be for the... Um, for the unit circle. Okay, so let's go do some examples and we'll move forward.